Hey and welcome back to the workshop. I have been buying steam engine models on eBay. <laughs> and they're all very good, but I have a problem with all of them. I don't have a boiler. For example, this one came with a boiler with holes in it. And this little one is beautiful and came with no boiler at all. Now you can run steam engine models on compressed air, but running them on steam is what they were originally designed to do, and they're so much more beautiful. So today we're going to look at an alternative to buying an expensive boiler. For example, I thought I could replace this boiler because it has the rest of the housing. I could put a new gas burner in it and all I needed to buy was a little steel or a copper cylinder. Oh boy, they're all craftsman homemade and they can cost over 600 pounds, dollars or euros just for this cylinder. So that wasn't possible. So let me show you today one alternative. Now, let me explain. I'm not a steam engine model person. These weren't built by me. I bought them on eBay and I'd like to see them running. If you really want to know about steam engine, steam engine model engineering and building and beautiful models, go and check out Keith Appleton and his channel and he'll tell you how to build your own. But today I'm going to show you how I did it. So here's my secret. Yes, it's a boiler made out of a wallpaper stripper. <laughs> so this is a heated element in a container, a boiler a safety valve. You can fill it with cold water here. It comes with a pipe to normally join to your wallpaper stripper and it runs on electricity so it's easy to fire and it t holds lots of water. And I think it is a very low cost alternative to an expensive steam engine boiler and very clean, this might be a good idea. Let me show you it working. So here's the steam engine. Let's put it back on its wallpaper stripper boiler box. And using just the rubber hose and the connector that came with the original steam engine. This, by the way, is, a, is an engineering model built in Germany in the 1950s and is particularly fine. So now we've hooked up the steam engine, <laughs> the, the wallpaper stripper to the steam engine. Very important next step is oiling the engine. So engines are a total loss. There's no sump. So here I've made little oil cups. So now I've turned it on. You can hear it sounds a bit like a kettle because that's what it is it's boiling the water now water expands a lot when it turns into vapor and that vapor steam pressurizes the wallpaper stripper first of all expanded air will come out of here and if I put this piston right at the beginning of its first downstroke. The first thing that you'll see coming out of the wallpaper stripper <laughs> is just compressed air. As the air inside its seal chamber expands and it will push down this. There you go. The next thing you'll see is water because the steam is coming up here and now condensing back into water in the now cold steel cylinder. So coming out of the exhaust is 
water which is just condensed inside the now cold steam engine and it's important to get this water out now on a steam engine like on a railway engine they have valves that let out the water so you don't get a water compression lock but on miniature engines they don't have that and what you need to do is just turn it until the water is expelled see how much water is coming out and now it should begin to run oh nearly hear how it's powering on the down and the upstroke still a lot of water and there we go it's running using the wallpaper stripper boiler and still you can see water coming out but as the cylinder warms up it'll get more and more pure steam and it will run now one thing with this system is there's no throttle so whatever the boiler is putting out it's just running under full power i think that works fine i don't want to um damage the wallpaper stripper by throttling back the amount of steam so i just let it put out as much as it can do so now let's just see it running so this is the piston and this is the crank this is the eccentric which is as you can see moving eccentrically pushing up and down this rod which lets the steam valve put steam in the top and the bottom of the cylinder and like all engines that has a flywheel and you can see it produces quite a lot of power it's also quite hot but isn't a steam engine running under steam so much better than an engine running under compressed air? I think so. So there you have it, I've just turned off the uh, wallpaper stripper boiler and the engine's running down with what steam's left in its boiler. Psh, done. Now, why don't we try the little steam engine under compressed air and then the big one when it cools down under some compressed air and we can see that one running. So let's run the big steam engine under compressed air and see how that works. I'm injecting the compressed air straight into the steam chest and there it goes. So that's about the same pressure as the steam, but with compressed air, I can increase the pressure and increase the speed. Wow. So that's good, but I much prefer running under steam 
what do you think if you enjoyed this video leave me a thumbs up so i can buy more steam engines <laughs> thanks for watching